Hey everybody, you're watching FI Productions, and today I have a very strange little lens to show you. This is a Canon 100-200 f5.6. It is a cheap, slow, relatively attainable telephoto zoom lens from the 1970s. It is a push type zoom. And as you can see, it is mostly disassembled currently. And there's some very strange design choices about this lens. First of all, I can't continue the assembly because to do, con to do so, I would have to remove these two screws, but I can't do that because this barrel is still on, but I can't remove that barrel because this brass collar is still on. S and this is permanently attached. I can't remove that. So, I now have a lens that I can't continue to take apart. It is just like this. I could attempt to remove these screws, but doing so at an angle would either strip the screws or strip one of my drivers, and I don't want to sacrifice one of my drivers for a lens I paid $10 for, and I could easily buy another one for about $8. These are very easy to find, very cheap. So I don't want to sacrifice my drivers trying to get this thing to open. And that's one of the strange design choices about this. The other one is how this barrel is centered over this barrel. This lens utilizes three little Teflon inserts around the barrel, two of them are removed already, that are all being pressed down by little spring bars. And that is how this barrel is centered over this barrel. And I've never seen a design like that before, not with any of the Nikons I've disassembled at least. So if you've seen this before, let me know. Maybe it's just something that Canon did a lot of back in the day and I haven't disassembled enough Canon FDs to know. But that was very strange to me. And I kept wondering before I disassembled this lens why the zoom action felt so terrible. And that's because it's gliding on Teflon and a little bit of oil rather than metal and grease. It was something I just wasn't expecting to see. So this wasn't the video I had originally planned for this lens, but I hope you found it a little interesting anyway. I did at least. This is design that I've never seen before. Again, if you've seen something like this before in Canon's older lenses, let me know um, if this is something totally normal for a Canon FD lens, I would like to know. But thank you everybody for watching. I hope you found this a little interesting, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.